It is consistently growing its role. Its uh, strategic course is forward-looking, and uh, we represent the global majority. Our cooperation is built on principles of equality and partnership and mutual consideration of interests. Together, we're addressing the most pressing issues of a regional and a global agenda. As we have seen, we're all for a multipolar world which will be truly fair and based on international law and the principles of the UN Charter. With respect to the right of every people to their own model of development. We believe that hegemony is unacceptable and that individual countries proclaiming their exclusivity and pursuing a colonial policy and a new colonial policy based on that is unacceptable. And it is the desire to preserve one's dominance and hegemony in the world by certain countries is what led to the grave crisis in Ukraine. First, an anti-constitutional coup d'etat was orchestrated in that country. And then those who disagreed with the results of the coup faced a war of extermination that was waged for eight years. Russia made the decision to support those people who are fighting for their culture, their traditions and their language and their future. Our actions in Ukraine are dictated by the single desire to stop the war which was started at the behest of the West and to protect the people who live in Ukraine and in the Donbass. And uh, we are uh, grateful to uh, our friends at BRICS who uh, make efforts to uh, put an end to the situation and to, to achieve a fair settlement. Colleagues, we are all in favor of a multipolar world which would be fair and based on international law. BRICS states are growing at their potential. As we heard, our global GDP is now more than the G7, based on the purchase parity. Our contribution to the global economy has grown by 100 percent and BRICS countries are successfully pursuing an economic partnership strategy. The five lateral cooperation to diversify supply cha chains and to shift mutual settlements to national currencies as well as providing support to small and medium enterprises and to establish a fair technology transfer. The business community is taking active part in this work. The Business Council and the Women's Business Alliance are actively involved as well, which uh, President Ramaphosa already mentioned. Representatives of this, these organizations are represented here today. An important priority for BRICS Corporation is creating sustainable and safe transport routes. And speaking before the business forum, I already said how important it is to develop transcontinental routes, such as the North-South Corridor, which will connect the Russian ports and the Northern Seas and Baltics with the ports in the Persian Gulf and the Indian Ocean. And uh, this will enable us to transit up to uh, 30 million tons of cargoes annually. It is time to establish a permanent transport commission at BRICS that would not only take up the North-South project, but more broadly 
developing transport and logistics corridors on a daily basis. If the BRICS partners agree, Russia could make the groundwork and uh, work on this actively in 2024. And of course, we uh, welcome cooperation between the five countries and global innovation. We expect that there will be more active engagement in research and development, which could be supported by creating a dedicated fund. Russia could share its experience and best practices, including in the digital transformation and artificial intelligence. We also intend to take part in long-term arrangements to create a nuclear medicine group and to operationalize the BRICS Alliance for uh, professional education. We wholeheartedly support our African colleagues in creating a, in holding a separate ministerial uh, meeting on uh, the role of women whose role in our societies should be ex expanded. Colleagues, next year BRICS chairmanship will be passed to Russia. Our slogan will be strengthening multilateralism for fair global development and security. We plan about 200 social, political and economic events hosted by over 10 Russian, uh, Russian cities. And in October 2024, we'll hold a BRICS meeting in the city of Kazan. And the specific dates will be coordinated through diplomatic channels. There will also be a meeting in the BRICS Plus format, which has proved effective. And we are willing to do everything possible to make sure that the decisions taken on this summit are implemented, including those that relate to expanding BRICS membership. We will closely cooperate with our partners on foreign political goals to work together at international platforms such as the United Nations and to continue the practice of regular security representatives meetings. And of course, we will prioritize such pressing issues as the fight against terrorism and the spread of terrorist ideologies, as well as the countering ma money laundering and repatriating assets obtained through criminal means. And we're grateful for the support through the working group on anti-money laundering group. And we expect that this cooperation will be maintained in the future. We will welcome the further implementation of the BRICS partnership strategy until 2024 and the creation of new long-term plans for development. We expect that the role of our states in the international currency system will be expanded, that banking cooperation will be strengthened, and customs and anti-monopoly uh, services will be cooperating actively. Our partnership in science and innovation uh, will be expanded, humanitarian ties and cultural ties as well. The diversity of our civilizations is the foundation of a new multipolar world order. A free space of cultural exchange, arts and creativity is something that we see as key. Our partners at the SEO and at the CIS uh, support this vision and we should maintain a dialogue on the role of culture in the world and the pres preservation of cultural heritage. And the International Cultural Forum that is to be held in St. Petersburg from 16th to the 18th of October this year could be a platform for such discussions. And of course, Russia will continue supporting sports and youth exchanges. In June 2024, the BRICS Games will be held. 
and will be happy to see teams from BRICS countries at the future games in Kazan, which will be held next year as well. They combine dynamic sports disciplines with the most popular video games and uh, technological devices. The great opportunities for contacts will be presented at the World uh, Youth Festival in Sochi next year. And once again, I'd like to stress that during its uh, chairmanship, Russia will cooperate constructively with the BRICS countries to increase BRICS role and authority. Thank you. Thank you, President Putin, for your input in this regard. You're absolutely right that uh, BRICS has proven itself to be a credible entity that acts in solidarity, that seeks to promote a more equitable global system. And we thank you also for the recognition of the efforts that are being made by a number of BRICS countries to bring about a peaceful end to the conflict between Ukraine and Russia. We agree that in the end, this type of conflict is best brought about to, to an end by negotiation, which you have said you have always been ready for. The BRICS members will continue to be supportive of various efforts to bring this conflict to an end through dialogue, mediation, and negotiation. Afrique Media, le monde, c'est nous.